Well, there certainly seems to be a little bit of anticipation building up. Good morning to all of you. Um, I hope you've had a lovely morning so far. I've certainly had a lovely morning so far. I, like these wildebeest and zebra, have had my early morning coffee. It tasted probably a little bit better than the crocodile dung uh, infused waters that the wildebeest are now drinking. Of course, it's also infused with the rotting humours of their colleagues who have fallen by the wayside during the course of this migration season. Hashtags fire live, of course, as always. Any of the questions or comments that you might have, you may send to us at will. Now, this is very interesting, and I'm just going to ask the final control to prepare for a Facebook Live. What we do, in case you're wondering, if there is a, uh, some sort of interesting migration action, what happens is that we will click it on a stream and we broadcast to a number of Facebook pages at the same time as broadcasting to you. But we won't do that just yet because this could easily just be a drinking party as opposed to a crossing party. Although there does seem to be a lot of groundswell of support for some kind of entrance to the water. Some leaving though, oh there's a topi, wildebeest, zebra, they're massing down. This could turn into something quite special. But often it's just about drinking and often it's just about pressure from behind that makes them disappear over the water's edge and nobody really knows why. Let's have a look at this little group of zebras having a drink there. And there seem to be very few crocodiles at this stage. I don't think we need to go live to Facebook just yet. Let's see first. When the first one takes the plunge, we will go for it. But for now, let us just watch the peaceable drinking of topi, wildebeest and zebra. Now, I don't know about you, but I always think that hooves must be the most inconvenient things to have when you are crossing rocks and uneven ground. Imagine taking... What can I imagine? What could you imagine? Ta taking two, a block of wood, two sort of blocks of wood, half the actual size of your foot, strapping them to your shoes, and then trying to walk across slippery rocks and into water and over uneven ground. And imagine how difficult that must be. Now imagine trying to coordinate not just two legs like you have, but four. I think it takes an astonishing amount of coordination and a really amazing sort of nervous response. In other words, a really amazing kind of speed of reaction in order to correct the slipping motion that must happen every time your feet slip on the rocks. Ooh, one of them's getting a little bit further in. Let's just scan around and see if there aren't any crocodilos. That's the affectionate term for crocodile. There's one. I can see you lurking in the deep there. But you, I must confess that having looked at the skull of a crocodile and uh, the size of the brain case, I remain convinced that much of their ability to survive is based on the fact that they live in the water as the only kind of water predator out here. I think um, with greater brainier competition, they wouldn't eat nearly as much as they do. Now, Seek Truth, you're saying that the zebra are saying, hey, guys, we can't let the giraffe show us up like that. If you weren't watching earlier, OK, let's go live to Facebook. We have a crossing in progress, everybody. Quickly, quickly. Straight towards the crocodile. Straight towards it. Straight over it. Oh, he's down. Got him. Hello everybody on Facebook, welcome to this crossing. Will you join us at a traumatic time? A topi has just been taken by a crocodile here in the Mara River. And it's the first topi we've seen try to cross today. And I'm afraid I think that's it for this topi. I know this might be harrowing for some of you. It's certainly harrowing for me. And if you don't want to watch it, I quite understand. We won't stay on the death for too long. We will go back to the crossing because I think there's a very large crossing in place. While it is thrashing around, 
very unpleasantly, unfortunately, it will go into shock now, everybody. There is a huge crossing. These topi inspired this whole group of zebra and wildebeest and the rest of the topi herds to go across. They've been massing for some time now. There they go. There seems there's one more. No, that's a rock there that you can see bottom right-hand side of your screen. Let's go back out and have a look here. I don't think we need to watch any more of the thrashing death of that topi. Let's just watch what's going on here first. Some still a little bit nervous to go in, some coming to have a drink, some probably most very confused about whether they should go into the water or stay out of it. Now, I'm not sure how quickly you managed to join us on the Facebook Live, but this topi nearly got over the top of the crocodile and then unfortunately, in fact, possibly for the first time I've seen this, I saw the crocodile flip around and show a tremendous amount of agility as it grabbed the topi, which is now under the water and mercifully gone. Hello, Safari Wild Man. You say this is magical and great footage from the Mara. It certainly is. Let's just have a look, see here. The crocodiles tend to lurk in this region there where I'm looking. I'll just look up a bit there. But everyone else seems to be crossing completely unharassed. And I've got to tell you, I think you've got to be so unlucky to be taken by a crocodile. Many, many animals do get taken, of course, every single day. But you've really got to be pretty unlucky. And I keep going back to the same statistic. 60% of the animals that die during the migration season die of what we might term natural causes. Now, there's nothing unnatural about eat, being eaten by a crocodile, but what that means, of course, is it's illness, old age, drowning, um, I don't know, breaking a leg and not being able to feed properly, that sort of thing. And so for you to be part of the two million throng herds of animals that come through this area, for you to be snatched by a crocodile, I suppose, well, it's a little bit like the chances of dying, falling out of your bed, you know. Some 20,000 people in the United States die falling out of their beds every year. It's not quite that ridiculous, but it really, you've got to be pretty unlucky. The rest of them now seem to have given up. But others here, you see, I mean, there could easily be crocodiles in there, and the zebras just, well, knocking about like they're at, they're at Starbucks for their morning coffee. I'll have a skinny latte with my piece of uh, crocodile dung infested water. Here we go, three wildebeest. No. Yes, no, yes, okay, let's go. Come on, children. Now, what's interesting here, that looks like a cow with two youngsters. I think it's highly, highly unlikely that they're both hers. It's not impossible, but by now, remember those calves have weaned. They were born in January and February, and they've weaned completely now. Oh, a whole nother crossing taking place of uh, some one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight animals. Let's go back and have a further look. No more crocodiles that I can see in the murky depths here. And you know, of the animals we've seen being taken this year during the migration, the topi have made up an, I would say, disproportionate number.